Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is well today. I'm going to show you uh, what I sold, a few selected items of what I sold on eBay from uh, January 24th to January 30th, 2022. These are just a very few selected different items I sold. I'm not going to go through everything I sold. It goes way too long for you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Big 777 subscribers trying to get to that magical 1,000. I appreciate every one of you guys. Thanks for hanging in there through all my um, videos and everything and my absentees and everything else. Thank you so much. Again, I'm Paul Apollonia. I've been selling on eBay for 20 years, uh, part-time for a good part of that, and then uh, almost full-time ever since. I do a lot of consignment for people. I love doing consignment, but consignment is different than anything else. I believe everything takes time. Whether you're doing consignment, it's a lot of time on the front end where you're meeting with people. You're dealing with, oh, no, my grandmother drank out of this can. This can is worth $8,000. No, it's worth the recycle bin. But it's just you got to deal with a lot of emotions from people. You're going garage sailing. You have to drive around to garage sales. You're thrifting, drive around thrift stores. Everything takes time. In reselling, I've, I've, I've learned that over the years, either front end, middle, or end. So there's no right way of doing it. Whatever fits you. Uh, I love doing consignment. Most of the time, sometimes you can accumulate a lot of stuff, which is a good thing. You just got to keep up, like with everything. It's like when you are thrifting, you get a lot of stuff. You have death piles. I have consignment death piles too. I love parting out appliances and other items i love selling things that are broken not working electronics i'd say parting out items and consignment are my two favorite things to do so i'm going to show you just a few things i'm going to go into a little bit of history of these items what i made possibly if i can remember and stuff like that and don't forget to check out all the comments below or the, or the um, stuff i have in in the comment below for my uh Teachable site. I have a dish, how to part out a dishwasher course on there. Uh, pretty in depth. Uh, don't forget to uh, check out List Perfectly. I'm selling on different platforms now, basically selling on eBay and Macari and make it sound like I'm selling on all these platforms. But I'm using List Perfectly for that. And you can um, use my coupon code to get a good percentage off your first month if you want to try it out. No obligation. You can cancel anytime. Um, I know several people uh, that are working List Perfectly. And it's a great program to use so like i said i part out a lot of items let me shrink down my ugly mug so you're not seeing that big ugly face that big anymore uh this dishwasher i'm trying to remember where i got it i get dish uh, dishwashers this refrigerator here i'm trying to remember where i got it was this from a friend a lot of times people call me up and say hey they're coming up uh they're coming the appliance place is coming up to pick this dishwasher up I, I always ask them, or gosh, this refrigerator, uh, uh, do you want any parts out of it? I always make sure, and I say, are they picking it up for scrap, or are they picking it up to reuse? Because I don't want to start taking shelves out of it, and then they come and go, wait a minute, what happened to all the shelves? Most of the time, if it's like a, a, a big box store, they're just picking it up to scrap it as a courtesy thing. So I come over and pull out all the shelves. Sometimes I do consignment with them. Sometimes um, they just let me have everything. I forget where I got this, to be honest with you. This may have been from my dumpster find. Uh, on a video I did a while back at the swim club up the street, they had two refrigerators there that I um, pulled some parts out of that were next to the dumpster. Doesn't matter. I sold two of these at $18.99 each, free shipping. Which I'm not a big fan of free shipping. But if all the solds I'm looking at, or if most of the solds I'm looking at, have free shipping, then I do free shipping or do pay shipping. I do buyer pay shipping. Uh, made good money on this too. Probably made um, probably $20, $28. I forget how these went out. It was so long ago. Um, I know they didn't go out first class. They may went out UPS. I'm trying to remember. Um, I did pretty good on these. Uh, real quick, uh, title is sweet and short. Uh, eBay search and Google search friendly. Uh, the specifics are very important. 
make sure you're using those. Uh, they come into play on the when you're doing your searches on eBay on the left side. All that stuff is looking at item specifics. Do not put uh, an A or weird characters in there. If you see a item specific that does not pertain to your items, just leave it blank. That will throw off the search. Uh, I always use the condition description. I'm selling something used. I forgot. Basically, please make sure this item fits. Blah, 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 blah. And I copy and paste it down here to the uh, title real quick. I'm going over this real quick so I end up doing this for every video. Using Global Shipping Program, GSP, through eBay, which allows me to do international shipping to their selected countries, which is a lot of countries now. I ship it to their site in Kentucky. Once they get it, I get an email. An email? Paul, you always say, don't, don't. Don't do anything with emails. It's all eBay messaging, make sure. Well, they send you an email. Once you get an email uh, saying they got your item, you are out of the picture. Lost, stolen, broken. eBay refunds you and refunds the buyer. Yes, I've heard nightmare stories about people not getting refunded. I've never experienced that. Uh, free shipping on this one. Economy shipping. Why do I pick economy shipping? I could box it up. I could measure it. I could weigh it and put it in as calculated shipping. Um Economy shipping does show a huge, uh, much longer delivery time. Economy shipping also allows you to pick any option on eBay shipping, post office, FedEx, UPS. If I pick post office priority, I got to ship it priority to be covered under if there's any issues with shipping. So that's that one. Let's go to the next item. Okay. I'm an open book. I show you the good. And I show you the bad. I got this item uh, in the last video or videos before. So I'm a ham radio operator and three GCA. Not very active, but I do go to what they call these things called ham fest, which are these big flea markets with these guys and gals selling radio equipment. Guy pulls up, has a whole van full, van full of stuff, says, I'm getting rid of everything. It's in my garage. It's all free. I went to the van once, pulled out some mice. I mean, not live mice, obviously computer mice, Logitech mice. Sold all those, probably made about a hundred and some odd dollars from all the stuff I took off of there. One of my trips back to the van, I noticed this thing in the corner sitting there. I went, ooh, he claimed it worked. I went, okay, I'll take a chance. I have no way of testing it. I tend to sell these things as is, has no remote. I was very clear. Guy buys it or guy questions me. He's kind of local, probably about, which I don't understand why people do this, but to each his own. It's probably about 15 minutes away, and he wants to come pick it up, and I'm offering free shipping. He decides not to, and he buys it. He gets it, and he says, some subwoofer channel isn't working. I'm trying to work with him. I'm saying, I'm showing him the manual, how to hook it up, and he's getting really irritated at me. Like, what do you think? I'm an idiot. I don't know how to hook it up. I said, I never said you were an idiot. I was very clear when I was sending him messages. I'm not, you know, saying you don't know what you're doing, but this is what it's saying. He claims he hooked it up right, and it didn't work. And what did I do? I just refunded him. I don't have time. Like, he's going to send it back. I'm going to have to pay. This cost me, like, probably $20 to ship it out to him. Now, again, I paid nothing for it. I'm thinking, I've sold stuff like this before and made tons of money. <laughs> Every once in a while, you don't. And... um I just refunded him. I was, I asked him, what, what can I do to make this right? Well, you know, I, I did pay $189.99 for it. So I'm thinking this is going to go nowhere. I've already spent, I probably spent an hour going back and forth with this guy over the, over a few days. And I just refunded him. Was he lying? I have no idea. Does he have a unit that works, but ex except for the subwoofer thing or whatever he was talking about doesn't work? Yes. Did he throw it out? I have no idea. Is he using it? I have no idea. You know what? I don't have time. I already spent so much time dealing with this. I just refunded them. Are there scammers? Yes. Should I have gotten the item back? Probably. But I really wasn't going to pay for shipping twice. So, okay. Let's go on to the next one. These boxes. Very old consignment client. A uh, gentleman was getting rid of a bunch of stuff. Gave me a dishwasher. Pardon out. Gave me a paint sprayer. Gave me a little knee uh, wheeler thing. His wife had a knee replacement. She was using this thing. Sold a bunch of stuff. Then he says, like almost every consignment person does after a little while, don't worry about it. Just keep everything. I don't have time for anything else. I said, great. 
had a bunch of these project boxes. I've sold three or four of these already. Most of these go overseas to Japan and Asia for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, he was working on something with these boxes, making way back in the day when people first started cutting their cable TV. They were making some kind of IP TV thing or something. I don't know what it was. It was remotes or something. He never could get it off the ground, so he had all these boxes. This took me a while to look up because they're out of, he made them, he got them made in China. I had to do Google searches and Google searches to figure out what the heck these things were. But I finally got some information. They are real long tail sales. What that means in the online selling world is they take a long time to sell. I've had these listed for over a year. They do sell, but they take a long time to sell. You have to be very, very clear with your measurements. Notice the tape. I've got all measurements written on this one so people can see it. So I'm not sitting here typing everything. I did by accident leave all the tape on there, but the buyer was happy with it. They got it and they're thrilled. $64.99 free shipping. I think I made probably 50, 50 bucks, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little less. If it was consignment, I would get half of that. Two more items left. An item, I don't do a whole lot of garage selling or thrifting. Um, there's a uh, garage sale in my development. Once a year, I do walk around or ride around and see what I can find there. I bought a whole KitchenAid mix, a mixer, not a mixer, a, 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 what the heck? <laughs> a food processor. Broken and the little discs and everything else in a little box for a dollar. Actually, she wanted two dollars, but I said a dollar. She went, okay, fine. I sold these. I sold one other piece, uh, a chopper or a blade, for another fifteen dollars. I sold another one for fifteen dollars. I sold a bunch of these different things. Probably made about eighty-five dollars. Uh, let's even say sixty-five dollars after shipping and everything from everything from a one-dollar purchase. Why did I buy that? Because I know these parts sell. Like they say, the riches are in the niches. Stick with your niches first. I know parts. I know what sells. So I don't even have to look it up. I just I just grab it. Um, once you figure out your niche and you got that figured out, then go find another niche. But stay within your niche when you're first starting out. Um, we're now free shipping. How do I ship these out? I actually ship these out in a little box. Put them catty quarter in a box, a little, little uh, padding around them. And they went out and they were happy with them. One last item for this week. A, another dishwasher rack. Do a lot of parting out of dishwashers. Again, check out my parting out dishwasher course on my teachable site. Very affordable. It's probably about two and a half hours, three hours long. Broken up into 20-minute videos. There are two or three long videos showing you how to list the item and how to look it up. Uh, this was out of a Whirlpool um, dishwasher. I do pretty good. Free shipping. I normally don't, do, normally don't do free shipping, but again, they must have been mostly free shipping. So I did free shipping on this one probably made they usually go out at about $17 shipping $19 shipping uh UPS or FedEx post office is way too expensive for this stuff how do I ship these out well there's a video out there on my YouTube channel for free it shows you how I ship these out the same video is also in the uh, dishwasher course too towards the end using a uh, Lowe's or home, uh, home Depot medium heavy duty box Cost you about $2.50. Take that, cut it open, flip it around, and just wrap it around this thing like you're wrapping a holiday gift. Tuck in the corners and tape the living heck out of it. Measure it and get it out to UPS or FedEx. Is usually your ship is, uh, ship is cheapest. <laughs> All right, my friends. That is going to be it for this video. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out everything in my comments down there. All the things I'm offering you guys. Thank you, everyone, for hanging in there. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. I'll see you next time. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Steve with Rake and Prof, and I'm here with Paul. And I just want to shoot a quick testimonial for him because he's been one of my good friends for over, what, four or five years yeah. now? Yeah, yeah. And if you're looking to learn about selling on eBay and you want to start a side hustle, you just want to make some money flipping stuff on eBay, you're in great hands. Paul's been doing this for a long time. He's helped a ton of people. And I put my full faith and trust in him. So, Paul, I appreciate you. You bet. Thank you so much. You got it.